and it was a close fight, but it, it, for me, he won quite clearly. This fight, uh, on the night, I generally, generally, 41. And when he got in the ring, I was, oh, I was talking to his act, like, well done, he said, you're a brilliant man, and next time he'll be better, because they had a rematch and so on. And then I was generally shocked when he gave it, I knew before, before the verdict came out. Um, and I thought, well, well that was, it was, I fought Tyson won. But watching it back, I thought Usyk won. I watched it back, and Usyk, uh, he, he won the fight, in my opinion. Like, I watched it back, and I thought he won. Um, very close. But the rounds were Tyson won. Tyson won big time and hurt him and so on. And the rounds were Usyk won, barring the rounds were he got, he got hurt him. Before, before, round, before round nine, you could have... You could have give Tyson big rounds and so on, and then um, big rounds, and then uh, you, you give Usyk, he might have nicked a couple of rounds here and there, but the damage was done. And then at the eighth round, he got punched on the nose and he disorientated him, and uh, he lost focus, and then got caught. Just heavyweight boxer, it's heavyweight boxer, and shh, listen, it happens. But. Shane Tyson still believes, obviously, again, off the back of that interview we done. He believes that he won that fight still, doesn't he? Listen, it, it, it was a close fight. It was a close fight. Yeah. Either way, either way, it was a close fight. Well, if, if you're a hater of him, if you love him, it was a close fight. It could have went either way. So the thing is, who's got the nod on the night? And it makes no difference. If we would have got the nod, it would have been talking like this, yeah, brilliant fight, I'm just being the champion. But he never got the nod. Uh, and like I say, listen, it's what it is. The rounds, what could have went either way. I was being very critical when I um, when I uh, scored it on the telly, and I, and I, I it, it could have went either way then. On the night, I was definitely certain that Tyson won, but scoring it, being critical on Tyson, I'd give it Usak, but it could have went either way when I give it. And those are the words of Big Shane Fury as he breaks silence finally. Um, shout out to IFL TV for the interview of getting him uh, to speak and to interview. And like he said, at first he thought Tyson won, but he went back and he watched it again. Okay. And he thought Usyk won. Now, what does that say? Okay, first of all, it doesn't it, it doesn't agree or fall in line with Tyson Fury's I won nine rounds out of out of three. You know what I mean? It, it you know he watched it again and he thought Usyk nailed it. Um, Usyk did do uh, the the lion's share of the damage in that fight. Okay, with the broken nose, he said it was eighth. I believe it was seven, but yeah, nonetheless, he got hit in the nose. And that took him off his game plan. I remember when the first Wilder fight, everyone talks about rounds 9 and 12. But it was actually rounds 4 when Wilder, pretty much eye level with Tyson, decided to jab. And when he jabbed, he jabbed him right in the nose. And that's what gave him the broken nose. Because, you know, Tyson has a very pointy bridge. So, you know, when anybody gets hit like that, in that area, you know, I mean, it's just like uh, any other fighter with that structured nose asks Otto Weiland about that. You know, it's going to do some damage just based on how it's formed and shaped, okay? So, um, it's a surprise to me to hear Shane say that. Um, Shane was, uh, you know, of course, he's the bigger brother of Tyson Fury. And, you know, f to hear him say that means a lot, Okay. It means that Tyson has never been in there with someone like that. I remember Shane McDormand, you know, he's had his own controversial uh, experiences with Tyson Fury and when those dudes fought. But uh, the only thing that I'll disagree with uh, Shane about in this segment is the fact that if Tyson would have got the nod, everyone would have been saying the, saying the same thing. And I say no. The reason why I say no is because look at Shane McDormand. Everybody pretty much sweeps that under the rug. And a lot of people thought, no, he didn't win. Tyson didn't win. 
You know what I mean? And I think it would have been another situation like that if Usyk would have lost. He would have still been the middle, middleweight that almost beat the heavyweight champion of the world. Okay? I mean, it wouldn't have looked too good for Tyson because that would have been the second time in a row which he was given a decision that a lot of people don't think he deserved. You know, just like the Ngannou fight. You know, a lot of people thought, wow, wait a minute. You know, Ngannou, you know, he knocked him down and, you know, he started beating up Tyson. And Tyson, he came back because I think Francis, you know, he did run out of gas for a while, but he did get a second win. So he did train uh, worthy of this fight to do what he did, okay? Um <clears throat> Now, Shane, of course, is the kind of guy that um, he's not a Tommy Fury. He's not the younger brother. He's the older brother. And it just shows you that he has more of a mentality like his uncle. Okay. We know his uncle, um, Peter, you know, said those type of things. You know what I mean? He's just like, hey, you know, he calls it how he is and he says what she, how he really feels. You know what I mean? And that means a lot for him in his own character. These guys, hey, I have my own mind. I don't, I'm not a yes man to my brother. I think my brother lost. It's not a crime, okay? Some people win and then they lose. A lot of people think if you lost, you're the bad guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not that way. When you lose, you just lose because you didn't, you know, perform better than the other guy, you know? And... Shane is just telling it how it is. It is surprising, though. Normally, you know, when you have families that close, they either refuse to tell the truth, and if they're going to say the truth, they refuse to put them on camera to tell the truth. Okay, so this is something different altogether. But it just shows you that Usyk did enough, even on Tyson's side, to uh, claim victor in this particular mega fight. Now, the rematch is something totally different. What will it do to Tyson Fury? I don't know. I don't know what it will do to Tyson Fury. You know, hearing his brother say that, if anything, it should motivate him. Don't cut him off. Don't say this. Don't say that. Because Tyson has been critical of people that has talked against him, meaning that, hey, he said he lost or whatever. So um, you guys tell me what you think of Shane Fury, brutally honest, breaking silence. He thinks Usyk won after seeing it again. Okay, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Hey.